Welcome to this video. In the previous video, we saw an interesting example based on assumed mean method. Today, we will see an interesting example based on it. The following distribution table shows the goals scored by the players during Hockey World Championship matches. So, can you find out its mean with the help of these values? Pause the video to solve the question and then match your answer. The given distribution table is a system of grouped data where the size of the class interval is 9. We know that for mean, we need the class mark of these class intervals or midpoints. But here, the class is not continuous. So, can you tell what we have to do to make the class continuous? Well done! We can see from the table that the difference between upper and lower limits is 1. So, to make the class continuous, let's add half that is 0 0.5 in the upper limit and subtract the same from the lower limit. After that, from the midpoint formula, obtain the value of x1. As you may remember, that to solve the same type of problem in the previous video, we used the assumed mean method. Where the assumed mean is calculated from xi. Suppose here, the assumed mean A is 84.5. In which, difference between A and each xi is represented by di. and find the value of fi di. On putting the values of assumed mean A, summation fi di and summation fi in the formula of assumed mean method and solving the value of mean that is x is obtained as 91.54. Hence, we can say that the mean of the goal scored is 91.54. So, hope you must have understood the assumed mean method of finding the mean.